Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, we are going to be reviewing the Bound Motor ESC, which is based on VESC 6.0. This compact dual motor ESC actually has some very cool features. It includes a power switch which you can attach to the ESC and a remote controller. Included in the box are also some sensor wire adapter cables. All of the components have really nice finishes to them, which I was very astonished by considering the price point at which this VESC sits. For only $199.99, you can get the VESC itself, the power switch, and the remote controller included, which is quite a bit cheaper than other dual VESC options, and then you add the remote to that cost and it's even more. Inside the box, there's also this instruction manual, which you can use to help set up your VESC. So in terms of the VESC itself, it actually feels really nice. It's inside of an aluminum casing, which acts as a heat sink and as protection for the VESC. The underside has all of the ports for programming and sensor wires, the battery connector is some connector we've never seen, and then the motor connectors are 4mm bullet connectors, which are great. The dangling wire off to the side with that white strip is also the receiver, which is built into the VESC. The power switch is nothing too special, but it's nice that they included one that plugs into one of the ports on the bottom of the VESC. The two adapters allow the JST connectors on your motor sensor wires to connect into the sensor wire ports on the VESC. The remote's first impression was that it was flimsy and not that great, as it resembles a lot of the cheap remotes that come with the cheap boards from China, but it, the remote actually grew on us over time as it has some really cool functions. This ESC is very compact as we mentioned before. Compared to the Flipsky Dual 6.6, probably its closest direct competitor, it's a lot smaller in terms of its width, but it's actually a little bit longer in terms of its length. This is bad because you'll need a longer enclosure, but good because it takes up less space inside of your enclosure. The thickness on both is also pretty much the same. The only thing that separates the bound motor one is that it comes with an aluminum case, whereas the 6.6 .6 comes with nothing. Taking a closer look at the VESC itself, you can see that there's a few intricate ports and pieces to this VESC. On one side is the port for the sensor wires and the programming cable, and then on the other end is the port in which you plug the power switch into. As we mentioned before, the battery connector is also strange, so we had to cut that off and replace it with an XT90. And then here's a closer look at the receiver, which is soldered on. To implement this in our board, we first screwed a hole in the side of the enclosure for the power switch to go through. We threaded the switch through, and then put the nut on the other side. We then connected the XT90 from the VESC into the XT90 from the battery. Next, we plugged in the sensor wires from the motor into the ports on the VESC. Finally, we used VESC tool 1.29 to program the VESC. It was a little disappointing that they didn't program at the same time, so we had to program each one individually. We then turned on the power switch, which glowed green, turned on the remote, which paired immediately, and then pushed the throttle to see what would happen. Then it was time to test how this ESC works in the real world. The acceleration on this ESC is so smooth, it can start you from a standstill without jittering at all in censored FOC mode, which is extremely important. This provides strong, reliable acceleration and is crucial for safety when riding. After having ridden it for a few weeks, we actually got extremely comfortable with this ESC. At first we were expecting it to cut out when braking or accelerating, but it never happened and now we're extremely pleased with it. The startup torque even allows you to start smoothly from rolling backwards on a hill with AT tires. I have to say, that's not bad for a $200 ESC that comes with a remote and power switch. This VESC honestly surpassed my wildest expectations in terms of quality and performance. It performs well in the real world for startup torque and braking and never cuts out. With the new VESC tool in firmware 1.29, it's easier than ever to program the VESC so beginners can now set it up. I touched on the brakes a little earlier in the video, but I'd like to reinforce the point that these brakes are extremely good. We've had some issues with other VESCs cutting out while braking, but these brakes bring us to a complete stop without ever cutting out. The deceleration is very smooth. The next thing that I'd like to address is the remote, which we were actually very skeptical about at first. 
After having ridden this board for the past two weeks, I can say that the remote is actually very good. I honestly like it more than the VX1, just because it has some features that are much easier to use. As I mentioned earlier, this remote has a really easy to use user interface. So for example, reverse is one of the easiest features to function compared to other remotes. You just double click the power button and the remote will go into reverse. There's even a nice indicator that shows the lights flashing forward or lighting backwards. Pushing the second button allows you to change the speed mode. You can tell which mode you're in by looking how fast the dots are moving up and down the display. Clicking the power button once also allows you to see how much battery you have based on the four dots. So in conclusion, the bound motor is a surprisingly good ESC. If you're looking for something affordable, easy to use, and very customizable, the bound motor ESC is a very good option for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave us a like and subscribe to our channel for lots of other Eastgate content. We'll see you guys in the next one.